I'm Adam Navis. And, sorry. <laughs> I was envisioning putting that in a blooper reel. <laughs> okay, go ahead again, Adam, sorry. Hi, I'm Adam Navis. And I'm Liz Wade. And today we're talking about this week's featured program, Work Less and Live Better. If you haven't caught this program, you can check it out in the show notes or find it on YouTube or our podcast uh, stream. And uh, we recommend that you do that because we're going to be talking about it and we may have some spoilers. So if you have, we're excited <laughs> to dive in and talk about uh, working less. Who doesn't want to work less, Liz? Yeah, I know. And I, I love the idea that we have spoilers in this show. That's great. <laughs> Of well, course, for people who who might not know what a spoiler is, it's, um, okay, now I've gotten myself in a hole. Uh, <laughs> what a spoiler is like when you want to find something out by just watching a show and then yeah. somebody spoils it for you by maybe telling you the surprise ending or um, a piece of information that you wanted to yeah. learn from the television program. I mean, besides oh. talking about food getting spoiled, I guess we don't. I mean, children could get spoiled, but that's a little bit different. That's yeah, it's true. Uh, I think really that. more commonly it's a spoiler now yeah, for shows, yeah. at least for me. Yeah. Um, all right. So, yeah, we're talking about, so this, who doesn't want to work less, you said. Right. Uh, yeah, I guess people who question, are Adam. people who are out of a job. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Sad. Take it. But even so, uh, you know, this program talks about a person who like put himself out of a job, right? On purpose. Right. For a, for a certain amount of time because he was going on a sabbatical, which is right. what this program is about. So it's not actually about being jobless or going on a vacation, but taking a break from your work. It is a program, you know, so I wrote this program because I'm mm -hmm. fascinated by those things in life that, how do I say this? <clears throat> seem to go like they're counterintuitive, which means it's not mm -hmm. you think you would think working more and more and more and more you would get more accomplished. Yeah, or productive, <clears throat> like that you would get more done. The mm -hmm. more you work, the more you get done. And one of the ideas of a sabbatical is that you can actually be more productive. Um it's not all about being productive, but you can be more productive if you have seasons of rest in your life. Yeah. Um, I know that one time, this was just one time, I was able to take just a two-week vacation, right? Right. And yes, it was it was majestic. It was amazing. It was just how my life aligned. And uh, I can't imagine taking a full, m many months long sabbatical. Um, right. Would, would you know what to do with yourself? Like, what would you do if, if I came well, to you and said, Liz, you can take three months to do whatever yeah. you want to do? Uh, I think it's hard because, <laughs> you know, you were saying this was a vacation and part of it is you need part of your vacation to really disconnect from your life in the first place. So if you are, if you're taking a real sabbatical, which a sabbatical is in this program, you know, we've talked about how it's not a vacation, you don't sit around, but it might be something that you go work on another project that you have started or learn yeah. a new skill that might help you in your job later or um, just l yeah, learn about every, anything really, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be related to your job. But um, I think I would need a little uh, like a buffer between mm. uh, work <clears throat> and then the sabbatical because getting out of that idea of working would be really difficult. Right. That you, you know? show and up that, at a certain and time. thinking of the sabbatical yep. not as a vacation, but as actually something that, you know, you were working towards something else. Right. Right. Would you want to do something uh, totally unrelated to what you what you do right now, or would you want to say? L has there been something on in your mind that you think? Oh, if <clears throat> I think um, you know, last year was the pandemic, mm -hmm. right? Well, I mean, we're still in the pandemic, yeah. but uh, last year we had a lot of lockdowns where we were um, we were sort of at home all the time, right? Yeah. And I think that. For me, I, I do love to travel and I love to mm. learn about different cultures. But when I had to stay home, <laughs> I did learn some new skills. Yeah. Uh, I, I 
like many people around the world, I created a sourdough starter and I made some sourdough bread. Um, My husband learned how to bake uh, like hamburger buns and uh, bread and things like that. Um, And then I also took out my sewing machine, which I've talked about on this program before. um, And I made masks, but I also, um, I have made things before like, uh, I don't know, some clothes and blankets and things like that. So I think, um, I don't, I don't know if I would maybe pursue one of those things just Mm -hmm. to, you know, make something with my hands and to, you know, continue learning that skill. Um, but I think those are some things that I might look into. What would you do on a sabbatical, Adam? Uh, you know, I hadn't thought about it until you mentioned travel. I yeah. like to travel, but I don't like to travel uh, when I have to be somewhere for a certain time. Like if it were like right. I could go to a city and just really enjoy the city. I don't like to travel where I have to go like see this thing. The next day I have to see that thing. I have to see that thing. Yeah. Um, so I, I would want to travel, um, you know, maybe take the sabbatical in a different place. Um, and a different year. In a different really year. Travel. Yes. <laughs> well, that's... that's Save that... your sabbatical for a little bit, Adam. <laughs> see, that, that brings up an interesting... Um, you know, you and I have been working from our respective homes for the last year and, and longer even... Um, Mm -hmm. But in a different way over the last year. So I will admit that I thought that working from home would be 100% great. And in many (laughs) ways it is. But it's not a sabbatical. It's not, it's not, um, it's not more restful. There are good things about it, but it's not restful. And I think this program, if you haven't, again, if you haven't listened to the program, go do so. Because it really talks Mm -hmm. about... A sabbatical is not not working. A sabbatical is not mm-hmm. vacation. So w- what really is interesting to me is how do you, like you and I, who are not in uh, work at a university, mm-hmm. uh, which is where a lot of these kind of sabbaticals come from, how do we, how do, we do these things? Um, I know that here in Spotlight, we get to write a lot of different programs and we have some flexibility in what we're engaged in. But um, do you think sabbaticals should be in more jobs? Should they be offered more? That's a good question. Um, I do think, I mean, like the program talks about how they are being offered more because, you know, businesses realize that just pushing people to do more and more work isn't actually getting more work done. Right. But I think there's still a lot of pushback from that, mm-hmm. um, maybe among bosses and things like that, because like you said, it's so counterintuitive. Right. Um, so what I really liked about this program, kind of on that point, is that it gave a concrete example of what any person can do, mm. even if their their business doesn't offer, even if their job doesn't offer a sub, like a paid sabbatical, or right. they can't go on a sabbatical for a couple months or a year. Um, and that, uh, you know, because sometimes you read these programs and you're like, I could never envision myself yeah. going on a sabbatical. Right. I don't, I mean, for most uh, people, it's not an option, even though more yeah, companies well, are yeah, doing it. They, yeah. Uh, like, gotta... like I said, there's this guy who made himself a sabbatical. He just cut back on things mm-hmm. he was spending money on and, uh, he saved and he, he, yeah, he just decided he was going to go on a sabbatical, but not everyone can do that. Right. Um, so these like concrete, small things, uh, like, you know, putting your phone down or, you know, closing mm-hmm. your computer and going for a walk in nature, um, just to have that rest in your mind and to not think about things. Or to take, uh, what was it? Is it a whole day off? Just turn off all of your electronic devices, your computer, your phone or whatever, and disconnect for a whole day every month? Yeah, I think I've heard it. And I don't know if this was in the program or not. They said an hour a day, a day a week, and a week a year. I think that's... Some, something like like set aside an hour right. a day, a day one day each week, and then one week each year for just rest. 
It seems uh, it seems impossible, it, to be honest. Uh, uh, even in like thinking about an hour a day, um, you know, some I try to spend thirty minutes to an hour a day exercising or moving or getting yeah. steps and things like that. So to add another hour onto that, or you know, yeah. how do I balance that? But um, the program also gave another really great suggestion was if you think an hour a day is too much, mm-hmm. start with ten minutes. You know, yeah. put your phone down. Uh, do something restful for yeah. ten minutes. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's just sit quietly. Yeah, and and don't you know try not to think or or whatever. Um, yeah, my I thought that was a big challenge to me myself mm-hmm. because, like a lot of people, you know, if I'm sitting down and I'm not doing anything, yeah. probably on my phone. Mm. You know, playing a game or um, checking Facebook or whatever. So yeah, maybe we should do. We should for the next ten minutes just sit here in silence and invite <laughs> all the people who are viewing this now. Yeah. Just to... I thought you were gonna say maybe we should have like a spotlight disconnect challenge or something. Like, oh. tell us if you if you disconnected for a few minutes or whatever. Yes, we so. would like you to unsubscribe from all the other <laughs> no, channels. No, unsubscribe. All don't. the other channels that you subscribe to and just yeah. watch spotlight programs. Yeah, exactly. That'll be your um... subliminally. No, no subliminally. They're... There we go. <laughs> um, there are a lot of good um, apps now. A lot of um... You yeah. know, mindfulness, kind of calm, calm me down, exercises. But that Adam, you can... this is my struggle with those apps. What's that? You're using an app to disconnect from electronics. Well, I well, just... this is this is the 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 um. Talk about something that's counterintuitive. Two sides of the coin. Uh, <laughs> you you know, it's a tool, and yeah. the, you you want to use the tool, but you don't want the tool to use you. Or maybe you, you know, you learn it from the tool and then you, you know, gradually can do it yourself. Right, right. Maybe you would start to, maybe you would start to, uh, like, really need those rest times. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I guess, I guess, but I did not used to exercise as an adult. This is kind of how I'm thinking of building this new, uh, this new skill, right? And so... Then I started exercising slowly, and then I did more and more. And now, when I don't do it, I'm like, oh, I really just need to exercise a little bit. Yeah. Maybe so, that would be. So you me. feel the drive. You've you've, you've yeah. made it part yeah. of your discipline and your routine. So first, you train yourself through this app, and then you go. Well, do you have a calming app like that on your phone? Uh, yeah, we have one. Um, I don't use it that much. I am I am a big fan of napping, of short sleep. Yes. And I do find it kind of like clears my head and of all the thoughts. Um, mm-hmm. And so that's what I that's what I do. And I also will go for a run or take the dog out for a walk. Yeah. Um, but I'm not on my phone. Like I don't have any yeah. social media apps on my that phone. That is right. You are not a big phone person. No. I, I gotta say, I think that I I am not a very restful person. I think that for me, a struggle is, um, yeah, I just feel like I always have to be doing something hmm. to uh, maybe not feel worth, but just to feel like I'm productive and getting things yeah. done. I think the pandemic this past year or so has really pointed that out to me ah. and said, you know, like if I... If I don't have anything to do and I can't go anywhere, right? What does that mean for me? Wow, we're going deep, Liz. I know. What, how, right? what, what is your answer to that? I don't know. Just I guess that that rest is good. Like it has felt. I mean, you know, in some parts this has been really stressful. But just to say, oh, there is a place for rest in our lives. Yeah, a um, a necessary place. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and it's not bad. Well, there's there's Good. definitely an idea that if you don't rest, rest will be forced upon you by getting sick or stressed That's or just true. running out of energy, you know? Yep. Um, mental health running breaking out down. Of mental energy. Mental energy, exactly. And um so I would I I like this program because I like thinking about even like what you're saying, even when you can't um even when you can't 
uh, take a sabbatical as it's been in academic settings, you can step back because it's so easy to get swept right. along by, oh, I got to check my phone. I got to do these things. Just take a step. Or an hour. I can't do an hour. I can't do an hour, but I can take right. 10 minutes and yep. just center in myself and say, you know, what do I want? What do I want yeah. to be doing right now? Especially with that promise that that rest will lead to a benefit. It's not just, I don't know, maybe maybe that's a bad way to think about it. Well, I think, <laughs> and I don't think, uh, well, think about this. You are the most yourself when you're resting. Um... It is, it is, we are, we are, as a people, we are designed for rest. It's true. So we work, work, work to survive, but when we are, we are most ourselves, which is where I think people have a hard time when they retire and they stop yeah, working. Yeah, that's true. They've put so much of their identity in what they do every day Yeah. that they kind of feel guess, a little lost. Okay, so this conversation is getting a little long, but I just want to say... People like, love it. If you're watching this... It depends on what you count for work. Is it your job that that you're counting, right? So I do think yeah. there's a there is a problem with just identifying yourself with your work. But okay, so when I am uh, making sourdough, it's still yeah. work. It's still it's not me sitting down or disconnecting. I might be you know you know surfing my phone while I'm waiting for the bread to rise or whatever. Yeah. Um, like. Does that count as rest or is that still work? I, I mean, I guess it, de it depends on how you define rest. But if you're defining it as like the things you do when you're not under the confines of your actual like paid job. Yeah. Okay, I get, get it. I mean, but there's also like you like making sourdough. But yeah. if you were mowing the lawn or cleaning the bathroom. Yeah, that's not rest. That's not rest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but other people get paid to do something that they really love and would do for free. Yeah. Um, so does that, I don't know. The question, so if you have ever taken a sabbatical or yeah. you, how do you find ways of resting in your week? Put a comment below uh, mm -hmm. and we'll try to respond to it. Yeah, um, tell us what you think is rest. Like what do you do for rest? I would be really interested in that. Like yeah, that would be that would rest. be what do you what when do you feel Or do you ever feel rested? That's you know <laughs> Is that is I think that your a, I think is that your life situation, concern. Liz? What? Is that your life situation? <laughs> the lack of rest? Oh, I feel rested sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh again, in the show notes, uh you can check out the program work. I want to make sure I get it right. Work less and live better. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you are finding that this is too easy, make sure you check out the advanced version of this program where we talk a little faster and more like we are now. And uh, Liz, what am I missing? Social media, follow us on Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, YouTube, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell so that you never miss a program that comes out. Yeah, and we will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. 